spend the evening with the ocean and watch the surf go mad beneath the moon and in view of that commotion remember I'll be back here very soon I just never had a notion that such an easy time could ever be Is it just the way you are? Is it just the way you are? Or is it just the way you are? Clive James, poet, essayist, novelist, broadcaster, critic, astronaut, philosopher, deep sea diver. Where does songwriting <laughs> fit into all that? I think it's a, the basis of everything. I'm quite convinced as a writer that sensitivity to song and song lyrics is probably at the basis of what I do and was at the basis of it even before I met you. I think when I met you, I sort of brought it out and made it a practical proposition. But way, right back when I was very, very young, I was the best in the district at singing the lyrics of Seven Brides for Seven Brothers. So the possibilities have never surprised me. The combination of music and, and, and words. And of course, when I write just the words, when I write a poem, I try to get the music of the words into it, as yeah. it were. Behold the colours of the night The crimson lake, the china white They crackle in their drifting flight Here, here we stay the actual phrase, Colours of the Night, I got that out of a Bickles book when I was a kid. Really? Bickles Flies West. There's a long discussion between Bickles and his friends, or maybe he's talking to Von Stahlhein or something, about the recognition colours over the in the night fighting over the trenches. Yeah. It was a way of identifying friend or foe. In the Second World War, they called, called it IFF. The phrase stuck with me for half a century. Uh, the colours of the night, the Crimson Lake, the China White, because they have, uh, have given us the uh, the look of the album. Yes, it's lovely. It's, uh, the Crimson Lake was in my painting set when I was a yeah, kid. Yeah, the watercolours, yes. Yeah, that often happens to me now. When I'm writing, I go right back to my earliest vocabulary, the childhood vocabulary. <coughs> that happens all the time. Slow down Slow down for me So I can stay beside you easily I've got these pockets full of lead And you've got those angels singing round your head I think there's some quite lovely swinging little songs on this album uh, about love and loss and divorce and things. Our lawyers are getting on fine. I think yours is smarter than mine. Did I write? That's not yeah. bad. <laughs> you see, that's, that, that line tells you everything you need to know. It tells you they're still friends. They mm -hmm. can still talk to each other, mm -hmm. which is a very desirable condition. Yeah. Uh, and, it's, and it's a situation a lot of people are in, but they just don't get as far as... as they don't get to the point where there's no longer any bad blood about it. Mm -hmm. So it's all in the song. Uh, in that song, I, I love An Empty House Full of Stuff. An Empty House Full of Stuff I might have been able to write when I was young and had all kinds of views about uh, bourgeois lifestyle, blah, blah, blah. I couldn't have written the line about the lawyers except as a mature man who's been through it. Now our lawyers are getting on fine. I think yours is smarter than mine. We could leave them and just fade away. We could have a drink. We could watch the bay as the breeze takes the heat out of the day. 
Cottonmouth was a song which uh, was due to be on the seventh album if there'd ever been one. See, that's close to being a personal song, but it's in the third person, you know. Exactly. It is actually yeah. about me. It's about a, a guy who talks well, and he talks, he talks well because he's always talked too much. Okay. It's about that dilemma. It just about encapsulates the way I feel about that theme. And it was written quite early. You would have sworn I read it last week. Yeah, That's why I'm glad it's coming out now. It's early mid-70s, it must yeah. be, yeah. No, I love, I love that song. Cottonmouth had such a way of saying things Phrases used to fly like they were wearing wings Never had to weigh a word Said the first thing that occurred And round your head the stuff he said went running rings Cotton mouth, what a brain Absolutely insane Well, I'm having a wonderful, wonderful last patch, as it were, and this is part of it. And uh, it's just an accident of timing, really. <laughs> yeah. It's, but uh, all you can do is carry on working. Well, as, as, you can. as long as I'm alive, yes, yeah. I do. I'm always thinking of the next thing, writing down phrases. Yeah. And uh, I can feel a song coming on now. <laughs> well, it's it's my fantasy that in in fifty years' time, people will be saying, "Oh, you know, you know, Clive James, who wrote all those incredible songs, he wrote these books as well. Have you discovered them?" That could be. I would like that. I, I hope, I, I suspect I'll be famous because I'm the father of a great painter, Claire and James, who lives next door. But no, I just know that the people who have your albums treasure them, which is always a good sign. I've got to where it's hard to find the tears so you can weep. I've got to wear the step up to the carpet is too steep I've got to wear apart from air there's nothing in the tank and I'd like to think that I had time to thank but I've got me to thank I've got me to thank 